Okay, so my car has been doing this weird like stutter thing and the check engine light is on and it says service stability track and service traction control and traction controls off and all this stuff. So I Googled it and I found this video of a guy with like a 20, know, like 17, 2019 Chevy Traverse who has the same issues, the same, talks about the same stuff. And he's like, here's how to fix it. And it like goes over, like pull this apart, get this kind of cleaning stuff, which I have here and then clean this one part of your engine and it'll all work perfectly. So we're trying it. Um, if the estimates of how much it would take for a mechanic or the dealer to fix it is four digits and I, that little bottle and the roll of shop towels was $11. So we're gonna keep with the double digits as much as possible. So the first thing I did is, I don't know if I can do this back and forth can't switch on these kinds of videos. Can't. Oh well. So the first thing was to take the oil camp cap off and shove a towel down in it and then pull off the engine compartment cover which is now laying down there. And there's Lindsay. Uh, and then the next part is to pull to pull this off. This this little doohickey here and clean this part which is the throttle body. So I'm gonna pull, so I'm pulling this off and this off and I'm going to clean that thing with that stuff and these. And I have all the tools I need, so we're gonna see how this works. Okay, so I got this off there and I need to get it off there. I'm trying to not get dirty, but I think that's a losing battle. So his video didn't have this thing or this thing, so I'm not sure. It doesn't look like that. This doesn't go anywhere. Oh, so dirty. That doesn't go anywhere, but I don't know what that is. But we're just gonna see if I can. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, oh, so dirty. Oh, it disconnects there. Okay, so. <gasps> oh, don't break it any more than it's already broken. Okay, so now that this thing is coming off super easy, and I am going to be very dirty. I can't switch hands because this is my camera hand. There is oil in there, there should not be oil in there. And then that thing is dirty, and it is dirty. Okay, here we go. So, the, what the guy said is that there's not supposed to be oil in this, and there is a lot of dark oil dripping out of this, so we are going to clean the inside of that as well. I wonder what that doohickey is. Oh my goodness, more oil coming out. I'm so glad I didn't do this on Lindsay's driveway. <laughs> okay, so I got that thing, it's dripping oil everywhere, but this color, that's what all of that's supposed to be, and it's like in there and both sides of this thing, oh, it's a little hot, okay, but both sides of that are supposed to be that shiny, so that's bad. Okay. So now I'm spraying. And it's cleaning, it's dripping out. I wasn't going to remove the air intake stuff because that just seemed like too much work, but I think I need to to get the right angle. So I'm going to remove the air intake. The thing that you need is torque screws, not flathead or Phillips head, like a Phillips or Phillips head need torque screws but thankfully my beloved toolbox here and there's Lindsay again uh has torque heads so I'm good so to remove the air intake you have to do this thing there's a little button there that you have to push to get that to disconnect and now I can do my all the little see they are oh there's no screw there that's not good um they're torque screws so there's supposed to be six of these here, one, two, there's two back there, and then 
three, four, five, and six of these long screws holding this down. And there are three. So, but now this can come out carefully. I could do this a lot better if I was using two hands, but I gotta do it for the vine. I need two hands. So now this is out and it looks nice and clean inside. So we're good there. And then that is where it covered. So in here with, get down in here, get down on it. No, get down. You know what? I'm gonna cover up that filter. Okay, now that that's out of the way and the filter's covered, we can get in here. I should tell you too, it smells so good. So bad for you, but so good. And supposed to be able to move this though. Yeah. And get that side too. But need two hands. Now we're nice and shiny clean. And if you push. My hands have cramped up from doing this too much. I'm gonna do it this way. Push that down and hold it and then clean all up in there. And now it's sparkly clean. And that's all the rags that I used to clean it. And I have those there to keep the runoff because you spray it and it goes and then it drains down and you don't want that draining on the rest of the engine and stuff. So. So that part is nice and shiny clean now, and we're gonna go clean the thing that was right here. Okay, I think I've got it as clean as I think I can. So we're time to put it all back together. Step one is this bad boy, which I am doing one handed again because I'm so smart and I learned last time. It's in, so now putting the screws back in there. I'm gonna do three of them. I'm gonna go on Rock Auto and see if I can find more. There should be six. Okay, half the screws on. Down there. And that one, and that one. And now I'm gonna put this, the doohickey that goes here on. Okay, we're gonna try this. Don't know if it's gonna stay there, but we're gonna try. Let this come out difficultly. Okay, we're gonna do that one right across that side. Oh, let's see. Oil. Nasty. Mm, that, because you need to go back there. So I got that back in with much grunting and struggling um, and a lot of grease on my hands. So now I'm going to switch my, this is a torque bit. So I'll get to back to flathead and make sure that's tight there. That's tight that way. That's tight that way. And then tighten these bad boys up. It's very windy right now. It's very strange. Now going to connect this doohickey back on like it was. It was in here. Right now. Ah. Yeah, okay, get that on there where it goes as far as that goes, and then put that in there. And 
that doesn't, that's not real secure. <gasps> that, that, that's concerning. That feels like something's wrong. Oh well. Probably where all that oil leak is coming from is from that thing. Oh well, not my problem right now. And then take this doohickey. On there. Ta-da! Well, not complete then, because now I gotta put that thing back on there. Uh, where do I put that? Where do I put that? There, go down. So this giant thing goes. So the, these little doohickeys there and there and uh, one is there go on. There and there and there. Well, actually, technically, those go on those. But now, I'm going to strap down. And, oop. And shove, push, push. And that is all it really needs. And then, this is my oil. Okay, we definitely don't want to leave that rag in there. Tighten that back in. Nope, it didn't screw. <laughs> okay, so this gasket that's here, this is like the fourth point that keeps this cover in place. And this gasket here was not all the way on its little hole, so it wouldn't go in. So now, I put that there. That's not the gasket. Okay. Everything back to normal. So this is the cleaner. I used pretty much the whole bottle and then those shop rags. I used pretty much the whole roll. And that's all done. Oh no truth. Is it going to have the little light right that one? That little light on and the check engine light. Or is it going to all explode? See, hood open. Yeah, I know the hood's open. Okay, so those lights are still on, but maybe after driving around a while, it'll go off. Don't know. So I'm gonna leave it running for a little bit. Um, all the gauges, uh, yeah, oil pressure is coming back. That one was way low. It didn't pop up at first. And the battery looks good. I only have a few gauges, but they all look okay right now. And I will post this later. I don't know. Edit it together and post it later. Oh, pressure's coming back up and up and up and up. I really wonder what that little elbow thing was. But if it didn't work and I have to take it to a mechanic, then this will never see the light of day. But if it worked and the lights all go off later, then I will be posting this somewhere. Perfect. So, I uh, drove home that day after I finished cleaning it and uh, actually drove to AutoZone and bought a quart of oil and put it in because it seemed like it might need oil. Because uh, when I checked the oil, there was no oil or there was just a little bit, tiny bit on the dipstick, which there's supposed to be more than that. So put a quart of oil in it and everything seemed to be working fine. The lights were still on, but it seemed to be working fine. It wasn't doing the weird things. Next morning, took my dog Clint to the groomers and none of the lights came on. The check engine light was still on, but the traction control stuff, all that was gone. So yay. But I needed an oil, knew I needed an oil change. So I took us to the mechanic and told him I need an oil change. It was also like cleaned the, I told them, uh, like I cleaned the throttle body, you know, the traction control lights been on, you know, can you check that stuff out? They called me back. At, like later and like so we did the oil change and you're good to go it was like everything else like yeah no everything was great so I fixed it I needed an oil change. like the check engine light was on because your oil's really low oh that's bad yeah that's bad okay I won't do that yeah don't do that um so the my car is totally fixed I am back in Phoenix I drove home on Thursday no trouble at with that stuff at all 
Um, I just need to get my oil changed more often and I need to check my oil and make sure that it's got enough in it more often, but everything is grand. I fixed my car. <laughs> right, Clint? Right.